Assisted living communities are a growing option for seniors, but they're not always understood. They can be expensive and confusing to understand. There's a lot of misinformation out there about assisted living communities, so we've done some research so that you don't have to. Hi, I'm Han Brown, and in this video, I will discuss how assisted living works, and I will share information to help you learn everything that you need to know about senior care options so that when it comes time for your parents or grandparents to move into an assisted living community, you'll be confident in making the decision that is right for them. Assisted living communities are an alternative to nursing homes. In assisted living, seniors have access to all the amenities and services as in an independent home without the responsibility of running their own household. They offer a safe, secure place for seniors to live and enjoy their retirement years with a high level of independence. Assisted living communities provide an intermediate level of care for people who need assistance with daily activities but do not require constant nursing supervision. Residents can stay as long or short as they like. There is no set length of time that someone must spend in assisted living. Residents are encouraged to live as independently as possible while still having the safety net of a staff on hand if needed. Staff are present to help when needed. The assisted living staff includes nurses, social workers, physical therapists, and personal care assistants to help residents maintain their independence. Independent means you can do everything on your own, but if you need assistance, they are there to provide it for you. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel, turn on that notification, and like the video to show your support. And if you want to get the most out of this video, make sure to watch to the end. We have some really good information on how assisted living works. Well, under the umbrella of assisted living communities, there are many types with varying levels of care. The level of care provided depends on the resident's needs. Some might need help with a basic task, while others might need more intensive assistance such as medication management or supervision during bathing or dressing. You can live in an independent living community where you have your own apartment or condo and the services you need are provided on site by staff members. Or if you prefer more structured, you could live in a residential care community with 24 seven nursing staff and access to healthcare professionals around the clock. So what should I look for in assisted living community? So one important thing to consider is your budget. How much are you able to spend on assisted living community? This will help narrow down your search by finding one in your price range. The average cost of assisted living is about three to 5,000 per month. There are no additional costs to you for assisted living except for food, clothing, personal care items, and so forth. Care is often subsidized by the government, leading to lower costs. After you narrow it down to your price range, do some research into the reputation of the assisted living communities you're considering. What is their history like? Do they have a lot of good reviews on the internet? How many residents are there? Bigger communities may have more services available, but they may also lack the personal touch because they have so many residents to care for. You have to weigh the pros and cons and figure out what's most important for you. The communities available in your area that you select are also very important. Choose ones that best suit your preference. Are there outdoor areas, including walking paths to the park? Is there a 24-hour desk staff and security? Are there kitchens and dining rooms where you can cook your own food if you like? Learning about the services the community offers is very important. Do they provide transportation to and from the doctor, grocery store, and other outings? Are there social events like dances or art classes? What about physical therapies on site in case of any injuries? Are there housekeeping services for things like laundry available? Well, getting to know the community policies is also very important. For example, some communities only allow visitors during certain hours. If you have any pets, you want to make sure that they're allowed in your community. If you smoke, be sure that's permitted as well. So how to prepare to move into an assisted living community? Once you decide on the right assisted living community for you, it's time to prepare to move in. So pack your belongings in boxes and be sure to label them with the room that they'll be going into so it's easier for you and your family to unpack later. You don't need to bring everything from your current home, but do some cleaning and donate anything that you don't need to bring with you to Goodwill. Pack all your clothes, linens, pots and pans and dishes, toiletries in boxes or plastic bags so that they don't get lost or damaged during the move. Choosing the right moving company is very important. 
they'll be moving all of your important belongings. So make sure that you can find someone that you can trust. Be sure to understand how you will be compensated in case anything is damaged in the move. Take pictures of the furniture and any valuable before packing them up so that you can remember what they look like before moving. If something happens to them in the moving process and they get damaged, then you have proof of their former condition and can dispute it with the moving company. And lastly, start making some phone calls to friends and family members about what support you will need from them after you move. For example, you may need rides to the doctor, someone who can help to cook dinner, or someone who can help with yard work. They could also watch your pet for you during the move. There's no shame in asking for help. So how to make friends with the other residents while maintaining your independence? After moving into the assisted living community, you'll be able to meet lots of new friends that you can spend your days with. When moving in, start by introducing yourself to people that you pass in the hallway or on the street. Social activities are a great way to meet new people in your community. Most communities have a calendar of social events that you can participate in, but you can always start with your own events as well. Invite neighbors over to watch a movie or start a book club or a dinner club to have some conversation. You could also plan a fun activity like cooking classes, pottery painting, or board games. Volunteering at a local charity can also be a good way to connect while helping your community. Go outside your comfort zone. The people in your community were all new at one time, so they know what it's like to be in your shoes. It can be tricky to make friends in the community, but with time and effort, you'll be feeling right at home in no time. Assisted living communities are designed to provide the seniors with a home-like environment that includes around-the-clock supervision and assistance. If you're considering assisted living for yourself or your loved one, make sure to ask questions about what services will be provided on site before making any decisions. If you need help understanding how the assisted living community work, reach out to us today. We can answer all of your questions and get started finding a suitable option in your area. Are you a senior seeking information about aging in today's society? Well, if so, this is a channel for you. Topics that we cover are senior housing, senior living, healthy living tips, caregiving, dementia, and much more. So please subscribe and turn on that notification button to keep up with our weekly videos.